Hey guys, so today's video, I know you can't see my face, I look a mess, but in today's video we're going to be going through this chest. So in here I store my eyeshadow palettes, um, my skincare, which is at the very bottom, and also some other random stuff. But we are going to be focusing on this top drawer right here. So you guessed it, this will be my eyeshadow palette collection. And I've actually gotten quite a few requests to do a makeup collection video. So I figured I'd start off with showing you guys the palettes that I have so far. Let's go ahead and talk about what is on the top. This is what I keep all of my Jaclyn Hill collaborations in here. So I have her in the back. Let's just start off with the back. So in the back I have Champagne Pop and I also have one of the Champagne Splits. So this is ah, dropping everything. So here we have Champagne Pop. And if you don't know what Champagne Pop is, it is a highlighter that Jaclyn Hill collabed with Becca Cosmetics. So this is Champagne Pop. So I just like to keep it in here with all of her other um, palettes. And then this right here is the Champagne Split. And this is in the shade, uh, what is this one? Seco Pop and Pamela Mousse. I think I said that right, but if I didn't, oh well. But this is what it looks like on the inside if you haven't seen it already. So yeah, I keep those in this these little um, side pockets in the back since it does separate in the middle. So I feel like they fit perfectly right there. And then the front. This is where I keep her first eyeshadow palette. And I know there was like a lot of controversy with this palette. Um, I got it simply because Jaclyn Hill was a part of this. And of course, I love Jaclyn Hill and I support her. So yeah, this is the first um, eyeshadow palette that she collabed, um, that she created with Becca Cosmetics. And this is called the Champagne Collection Eye Palette. So if you haven't seen it, which I'm pretty sure you have, but this is what it looks like on the inside. It's super pretty. Honestly, I don't have a problem with this palette. I know a lot of people had, you know, they have problems with it, but I don't see anything wrong with it. It's beautiful. The pigmentation is there. And yeah, so yes, love it. Anywho, the next thing I have is the Champagne, what is this? The Shimmering Skin Perfector Champagne Glow Palette. This is also in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics. Um, so all of this stuff is Jaclyn Hill, uh, Jaclyn Hill and Becca minus the eyeshadow palette, which we will get into in a minute. But this is the Champagne Glow Palette. If you haven't seen this one, here it is. Like I said, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen all of these. But if you haven't, this is what it looks like. So it comes with her Champagne Pop in the middle um, and then a Blushed Copper right here and Pearl right here. So these are just shimmering highlighters, which are beautiful and I rarely use, but obviously I like to get these because I like to collect it. Next, we have one of my favorite palettes that she created which is the Becca, what is this, Champagne Collection Face Palette. So here it is, if you haven't seen it already. I know that light is probably not even showing this like it should be shown, but in the back is gold and mirrored, so. And once you open it up, this is what it looks like on the inside. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So pretty much you have Champagne Pop everywhere in these palettes, um, so Champagne Pop, is never going to get old, which, you know, I can understand um, because it is a really nice highlighter and that is like her baby. So yeah, anywho, the last thing I have is the Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette. And there has also been a lot of controversy with this palette, but honestly, I see nothing wrong with it. If you haven't seen my full face using this palette i will have that video down below in my description so look at that video when you get done watching this um i thought it was super different because i know everybody is doing like a um tutorial
tutorial on this palette review so I wanted to kind of stand out and do my own thing and just do my full face using this palette so when I mean full face I mean full face so I will have that video down below if you haven't checked it out but yeah that's everything that I keep in my little Jaclyn Hill little whatever you want to call this thing but yeah so let's go ahead and jump into this drawer filled with all of my palettes so in here is where I like to keep all of my eyeshadow palettes I did keep these in my Alex non drawer but it started to get very heavy and the drawer started falling apart so I felt like it was time to move them into a new home so I really love this drawer because it's very sturdy I don't even know where they got this but I was able to get this and turn it into my own so yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this drawer filled with all of my eyeshadow palettes. So I don't wanna go in any particular order. I'm pretty much just going to reach in here. Let's go ahead and start in this corner. So the first palette I have in here is the Nikki Tutorials by Too Faced. There was a lot of controversy with this palette as well. I did do a makeup tutorial on this palette and I also did a full review. Um, now, is this my one of my favorite Too Faced palettes? Absolutely not, simply because most of the colors in here aren't really um, brown girl friendly. The next palette I have is also by Too Faced. I think this was the one that was um, in their holiday collection two years ago. This is the Too Faced, which one is this one? I don't even know because it doesn't even say the name, but this was actually one of my favorite ones from the holiday collection um, because all of the colors in here are very wearable. They're not too bright, they're not too dark. It's the perfect palette for an everyday look. Surprisingly, I don't have any of these palettes like in brand order. They're all kind of scattered out and thrown in here. And I just don't have, like it's not perfect. It's just, I just throw my palettes in here and go. I don't try to make it look perfect or anything like that. I just make it work, you know? This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Um, you guys already know what it looks like. I've actually did a tutorial using this palette and also another palette, which I will show you guys in a minute. But I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it. If you watch my channel, you've seen that tutorial. I will have the video down below. But I pretty much compared this palette with an affordable eyeshadow palette that I feel is the perfect dupe to this. So if you, you know, don't want to spend the extra buck on the Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, um, I just lost my train of thought. The freaking what am I trying to say the renaissance palette um but yeah if you don't want to spend that extra buck on this palette then that will that other palette is a great alternative so yeah that's that and one thing I don't like about this palette is the packaging I don't like how it has that suede material because it is easy to get dirty and I don't want my palettes to get dirty because I like to collect my eyeshadow palettes all right, the next three palettes I have are the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes. Um, this, is, this isn't the chocolate bar, but these two are the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes. This is the first chocolate bar palette that I own. Then I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. This is the palette inside if you haven't seen it. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these palettes before, but I won this palette through some type of Ipsy giveaway. It was super random. A lot of people won it. So, yeah, and I can say that was probably the first ever giveaway that I've won um, dealing with, you know, YouTube and stuff like that. So, that's that one. And the next one I have is the Too Faced Sweet Peach. I absolutely love this palette. I have hit pan on the color. What is this? Yeah, Delectable. I have hit pan on that color as you can see if Too Faced came out with like single shadows that would be bomb and I would definitely well I think that it honestly I think they should do that like come out with single shadows because some of these colors in these palettes are my favorite my go-to and I just don't want to buy a whole nother palette just for those colors okay the next palette I have is another Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and this palette I was going back and forth with I was kind of on the fence of getting it. This is the Master Palette by Mario. Um, so I was on the fence of getting this palette because I felt like the colors did not speak to me at all. Like they just looked very basic. But I went ahead and got it. And ever since I got it, I 
have loved it. I can't believe I just stopped using it. Honestly, I'm just gonna put this to the side and start back using it, but I have almost hit pan on two of the colors, which are these two right here. These are stunning. They are the perfect color to go on the eyelid or if you just wanted to put it in your crease. These colors are absolutely beautiful. And the next palette I have is by Makeup Geek. This is the one in collaboration with Manny MUA. Um, I don't even know why. Honest, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. The reason why I got this palette is because I love watching his channel. Like, I still watch it every now and then, but back in the day when I was first starting out with YouTube, I um, discovered his channel and I just love the makeup that he did. He was very different. Um, and of course, I got this palette to, for one, support him. And um, I don't know, I just really like the colors that were in this palette. But now, I just, Pretty much spit everywhere but after looking at it now and just realizing that I have these shades already um, a few of these shades I already have from Makeup Geek like for their single shadows um, but again I bought the palette to support Manny MUA but I think it is a beautiful palette the colors are absolutely stunning and Makeup Geek shadows are probably some of the best eyeshadows that you can ever purchase so all right making our way back to the back this palette is the itsy palette and this is one of their eyeshadow palettes that holds their single shadows their blushes their highlighters so i was able to try out a few of their shadows um i have one of their blushes and i also have one of their highlighters now this highlighter is absolutely stunning only thing about itsy is especially with their um eyeshadows and their well i haven't even tried the blush yet which is surprising but i have tried out their shadows and also this highlighter the only thing i don't really care about is that it's kind of gritty um the pigmentation is i mean you can you can see it but they are a little bit gritty and this one back here like i don't even want to pull it out but this is the Natasha Denona star palette I have mentioned this palette a couple of times on my channel so this is inside and as you can see this palette is very messy for one I don't even know if this is focusing but we're gonna roll with it it has a lot of fallout you guys like the glitter shades in here the shimmers um, they just have a lot of fallout but I can say the matte shades in here are beautiful they are super super creamy they're just so soft and pigmented I don't know if you can see that but um, this brown right here is so so pigmented so these are the mattes but I don't I don't even know if you guys can see that but let me swatch it real quick for you that brown uh, it's absolutely beautiful. So the, the colors are really, really pretty. I just feel like the palette was not worth the money. I, they could have went down on the price a little bit. Just a little bit, you know? Moving right along, I have the Estee Edit. These are the magnetic palettes. Um, so one palette is a highlighter palette, and then the other one is an eyeshadow palette. So this is the eyeshadow portion, and I absolutely love this because they stick together, and these are like the perfect travel friendly palettes they just stick together and they're not going to come apart and then what i have right up under it is the Too faced natural love palette this is one of my favorite palettes from Too faced you have all of the colors that you would ever need in an eyeshadow palette you guys like come on and then right up under it i have the Lorac Pro. this is the mega three this was my first ever Lorac eyeshadow palette purchase so crazy right like that is crazy but this is what the inside looks like I don't even know if this video is going to be in focus but <laughs> this is what the inside looks like I have it on manual focus that's why it's, I don't think it's gonna be in focus um, I just don't want that clicking noise in the background of it going in and out of focus. But anyway, this is what the Lorac palette looks like on the inside. Super gorgeous. This is also one of those palettes that I think are perfect for travel. And now that I look at it, let's compare the Too Faced and the Lorac palette. These two, do you guys think these are similar? 
Mm, nah. Alright, next I have these two palettes. This one is the Lime Crime Venus palette. This palette was actually a gift from Keisha Anderson. She and I actually collabed here on YouTube. Um, so she sent me one of these. We did like a huge swap and this was one of the palettes that was in that swap and the colors are so beautiful. Like this is my jam. Now let me show you guys something really quick. So recently I did the review on the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette um, comparing it to well, I, it wasn't a review, it was a tutorial. It was a full face using products that I hauled. So that video is actually one of my most recent videos. But I was comparing the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette to an affordable dupe. So, I mean, you guys saw this right. This is the Lime Crying palette. And that website also has a palette that is a dupe for the Lime Crime palette. And this is the... Um, I don't even know the word, the name of it, but it's called the matte eyeshadow palette, but look at this. Look at this. I haven't even swatched it yet, though, but I just wanted to show you guys this really quickly. So, if you haven't heard of the website Shop Hush, you have been sleep. I will have their link down below in my description. They have some amazing palettes on there that are dupes to um, some of the high-end palettes, and they are incredible. So this one is a dupe to the Lime Crime Venus palette. I mean, there's like, it just looks exactly alike. So I haven't swatched this yet. Um, so let me know if you guys want to see another one of those videos that I just uploaded using two different palettes on my eyes. And I'll be more than happy to use these two palettes. So let me know and I will definitely get that up for you guys. The next palette that I also got from Shop Hush is their, what was this one called? The, I can't say the name, Oakland. I don't know the name of it, but this one is also a dupe. So this palette is gonna be a dupe to the Alice in Wonderland palette. I think it's by Urban Decay. Um, I forgot, but it is an exact dupe to that palette. So I don't have that palette to compare, but I do remember it looking exactly like this. You have that rounded mirror and you also have the butter, um, the butterflies on this palette. So I did swatch a couple of the shades in this palette and they are so freaking creamy, soft, and just crazy, crazy pigmented. And next I have my Juvia's Place palettes and these are probably some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes because for one, they're very different. Um, and I just love, love how the brand just made their palettes just so unique. So this is the very first one that I purchased. This is the Nubian palette. And as you guys can see, I have used it like crazy. I have hit pan on this shade and I'm almost about to hit pan on this one right here. This is my go-to palette, what I use almost every day when I go to work. So I definitely love this one. Then this is the blush palette. So this is one of their newer palettes that they came out with. This is the blush, um, Saharan Blush Volume 2. I do want to get the Volume 1 now that I keep seeing it over and over, but I feel like getting this one because the colors in here I could definitely work with. If something is too light, I can mix it in with a different color to make it work. And then next I have the Saharan palette, and this is one of the palettes that my friend Faye actually sent me. Um, I think she sent me two of these. Yeah, she did send me two. So this is one of the other palettes that I absolutely love. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I put dents in some of the shades, but that's that one. I would do swatches, but that this video is going to be super duper long. Um, and I just pretty much want to show you guys my palette collection. So yeah, and this is the other palette. This is the Masquerade Mini. So here's the inside. I love Juvia's Place eyeshadows because they're super pigmented. I think I already said that, but yeah. And the next one is the Nubian 2. And this one has huge pans in it. Like, these are huge. Look at that. Huge. Next, we have two palettes by Violet Voss. The first one is in collaboration with Laura Lee. And I love Laura, you guys. She's from Alabama, and that's like right next door to where I'm from. Um, and I just love her personality. She's very sweet, very bubbly, very country. I just love, love Laura. So she collaborated with Violet Voss to create her own eyeshadow palette. 
sorry I'm just gonna go ahead and take that out but this is what the inside looks like and I love the names that she gave for each shadow it's just so so Laura so I love this palette and the next one I have by Violet Voss is actually one of my first palettes from Violet Voss and this is the Holy Grail palette this palette holds all of your everyday colors you have your browns your burgundies your orange um your mattes your shimmers your your metallics it's just the perfect warm tone eyeshadow palette so that's that then moving on back here i think all of this is tart so the first one i have is the tart um, contour palette volume two and this palette i have used so so much next i have one of the newer palettes from tarte and this is the make believe in yourself tarte eyeshadow palette and this just has all of your shimmers um very very cute very girly it's kind of it has that unicorn theme um to it so i thought this was super cute and i definitely wanted it to have it in my collection and the next one i have is the tarte by shayla um contour kit now if i had to pick which contour um palette i like best i would have to say the volume two is this volume two I would have to say the volume three because this one is more warm than the one by Shayla. This one by Shayla, the contour shade is a little bit on the gray side and I don't really like a gray contour or bronzer on my face. I like to have, you know, that red tone to it. So that's why I like the volume three better. But they're both very, very beautiful and the highlighters in them are absolutely phenomenal. Um, next I have the Tarte Tartlet and Bloom eyeshadow palette. This is probably one of my favorite Tarte eyeshadow palettes and this is also a good palette to travel with. The mirror on it is super nice and big and it's very sturdy. So absolutely love this palette. And then next I have one of my um recent favorite palettes by Tarte this is the Tarte Pro Glow so this has your highlighters and you also have your contour cream in here which I don't use but this highlighter in here called fire is fire <laughs> it is what it says it is this is absolutely gorgeous you guys like oh, I don't know if you can see that but it is fire <laughs> it's beautiful love 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 that so i've actually been dipping into this palette a few times um recently especially doing like my instagram makeup you know posts for my instagram so i've been dipping into this lately moving on here is the royals palette now this is the palette that i compared to the anastasia beverly hills um modern renaissance palette so i use this palette with that other palette in a uh my recent video so one eye was used with this palette and the other eye was used with the anastasia palette so if you haven't watched that video i will have it down below so you guys can check it out after you watch this one but if i had to pick which palette let me show it to you because i'm pretty sure some of you haven't even watched that video yet <laughs> but this is um what they look like so this is side by side they look identical. If you shift around a few of the colors to make them look, um, you know, to make the colors match, it would be two identical palettes. Because I know some of the colors in them, they are not placed in the same place. But these are literally the same palette. And honestly, some of the shades in the Royals palette, they are more pigmented than the Anastasia palette. And I, I was just blown away with how crazy and how similar these look so yeah and then next one i have is the colored rain palette this one sold out and i think they just brought it back well i don't think it's available now i'm not sure but this is one of their um very popular palettes so i have to get my hands on it because you guys know all of these colors in this palette they scream my name i love every single color in here they're super pigmented and they blend out perfectly and next i have the Lorac beauty and the beast um this is the face palette so i did a full review on the new Lorac beauty and the beast collection so if you haven't seen that i will also have that video linked down below um and 
I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I may forget to link some of the videos that I tell you that I have linked down below, so don't yell at me if I forget, okay? Don't yell at me, but you guys can always go on my channel and just scroll through my videos and find them there. But anyway, yeah, so this is the cheek palette. You have a highlighter in here and you also have three blushes. And then I have the Beauty and the Beast eyeshadow palette. So this is also by La Roche. I just love how they made this look like a book. It comes with a really nice eyeshadow brush. This brush is really nice, you guys. Um, Ooh, I just love it so much so yeah so that's what the inside looks like it has a little mirror um, only thing I don't really care for is they're super bulky so this is not going to be a palette that you would want to travel with I would say this is just a good palette to have for a collector's item or if you just want to put it on your bookshelf this is just a really cute and unique eyeshadow palette and they also came out with the Disney Pirates of the Caribbean collection so this is their eyeshadow palette and I also did a review on this one too so y'all know the drill if it's down below in my description I will have it for you guys to check out after this video but this is what it looks like on the inside and it came with a um a what is that it came with a liquid not a liquid but a um eyeliner a pencil eyeliner and also on the side it has your um, cheek palette if I can get it out so this is the cheek palette from the collection kind of similar to the Beauty and the Beast but this one has more colors in it so there's the cheek palette right there all right moving on to this side I have two of my Tarte palettes now these palettes are gonna hold your single eyeshadows so I have pretty much all of my makeup geek shadows in this one um, so this is where I like to keep all of my shadows that I have from makeup geek and I'm not gonna lie um, Jacqueline Hill uploaded her favorite makeup geek shadows it was a while back but I kind of put them in the same order as she had hers and most of these shadows are what she mentioned in her favorites um her favorite makeup geek shadow video so yeah i just like how she put them in her palette so i did the same thing and then i also have another tarte palette and this one also holds your single shadows it's funny that i only have three single shadows in here like what was i thinking what was i doing that day i don't know all right you guys so we are almost done now we have four of the color pop eyeshadow palettes the first one is i think this is one that i just put the shadows in randomly so in the past if you ordered like a certain amount i think or if you spent a certain amount you would get like a free eyeshadow palette and this is what this is and i just had a few extra color pop shadows so i went ahead and put them in here um i don't even know the names of the shadows in here but these are a few of the color pop shadows and this one i got from generation beauty when i went to la um this past january and what i did was i actually pulled out the cardboard so that i can put 10 of their single shadows in here so you can easily pull out this cardboard in here so you'll have to have scissors or um, just something that can get in the side and you just lift it up and this this insert will come out but you have to be careful because you can damage the palette but that's what I did for this one because I wanted to put 10 of their single shadows in here so it just looks like a little mini Z palette so I thought that was cute and this packaging is adorable this was exclusive um, only exclusive to uh, Generation Beauty LA so if you went there you were able to get this eyeshadow palette from um, ColourPop yeah, I might as well put these back in there um, then I have two more of their palettes this one is the high maintenance one which I don't think I've used these yet I need to start using these but this is the high maintenance one super cute and then I have the low-key one so this one is more of your warm I can't believe I haven't even used these yet you guys like what am I thinking like these are brand new I haven't even freaking dipped my finger in them but this is low-key this will be a really pretty um summer look I need to start using my stuff like what am I doing so next I have the NARS loaded palette so this is what it looks like this is one of NARS newer eyeshadow palette and it's actually my first eyeshadow palette from NARS um, but I love it I love how the colors in here are more warm toned and you have your black shadow I think 
y'all know y'all know my thoughts on an eyeshadow palette with a black shadow in it i think it is the staple color um in the palette but the thing about this black is it's not super super black it's more like a charcoal grayish black if that makes sense but it's still really really nice and it makes the perfect smoky eyes so these are super super creamy and they're so easy to blend oh i just love it so much so i have that and then i have the new color pop um highlighter palette and this is the give me more highlighter palette and this is also one of the palettes that i featured in one of my recent videos i did it in my recent um beauty haul so i did a couple of swatches on there so if you guys want to see that because i um want to save this and do it like for a full face first impression so i have that and the next palette i have is by beauty bakery this is actually one of my favorite black owned makeup businesses they have some of the most cutest most unique products on their website and this palette y'all like y'all have been sleeping on beauty bakery like this is my jam this color right here i'm about to hit pan on because i would use this every single day when i go to work i would put it in my crease or if i just wanted to put it all over the eye i would do that and it is so beautiful it is very similar to um, makeup geek coco bear but it's a little bit more rich than that one so i absolutely love beauty bakery and if you haven't tried out their brand what have you been doing you have been sleep and i need for you to wake up all right next i have the morphe by kathleen lights palette and this is actually one of my favorite palettes that morphe has come out with she did an amazing job with this palette you have your black which i think is very important you guys already know um and then you have your warm tones you have a few metallics in here this green right here is absolutely stunning it's just so beautiful for all over the eyelid it's just gorgeous and this mustard yellow y'all it is absolutely beautiful so kathleen did such an amazing job on this palette all right all right, and the last few palettes are kind of random, so I'm just going to sit them right here. So these are the two mini Tarte palettes. I have the Tartlet Tease palette, and so this is what it looks like. And then I also have the Tarte Tartist Pro to go. So these palettes are like the perfect palettes to throw in your purse, throw in your makeup bag. If you're, you know, going on like on a weekend trip and you just don't know what palette to take, these are like the perfect ones to just throw in there. They're not going to break or anything like that because they're so small, so compact. They're just the perfect palette to just throw and go. Then I have this palette. I think this came in a boxy charm. This is the Naked Cosmetics palette. Yeah, so this came in a boxy charm box. So this is this. I haven't even used this yet, um, but that green, I'm curious about. And then I have the NYX Cosmetics Professional Palette. Um, this is the Los Angeles Palette. This is the palette that I got from the cocktail party when I went to LA back in January. I haven't even used it yet, but this is what the inside looks like. like it is brand spanking new. I haven't even swatched it or anything. I think I want to just keep it and not even swatch it because, you know, it gives me memories when I went to LA for the first time. Robert and I went to LA and he proposed in LA. So I'm definitely going to keep this and probably not ever use it because it brings me great memories. So I have that. All right, next I have the NYX Ultimate Warm Neutrals Palette. And this is very, very beautiful. You guys, this is probably the best drugstore warm tone eyeshadow palette that I have come across. It is gorgeous. The colors blend out so beautifully. And it's just, it's, it's just gorgeous. I love it so much. It's like a mini Morphe 350 palette. Like, look at that. It is gorgeous. All right, and the last palette I have is by Coastal Scents. And this is one of their um, palettes that they sent to me that I have filled with their shadows. So they also sent me these shadows as well. Um, so these are all of the Coastal Scents shadows. So if you're looking for a very, very affordable single shadow, Coastal Scents always have 
they always have like good sales on their website. So if you have been looking for affordable single shadows, then check out Coastal Scents because they are just as good as some of these high-end shadows. All right, you guys, so those are all of my eyeshadow palettes and pretty much all of the palettes that I have in my collection. I do have a couple of more palettes that are spread out throughout my beauty room. Um, I do have a makeup, um, not a makeup, but a bookshelf. It has my Carly Bible palette, my Anastasia Beverly Hills by Nicole Guerrero highlighter palette, and I also have one of the Too Faced palettes, which is the Stardust palette. I think that was all the other palettes I have that I did not show you in this video but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it wasn't too long for you and I know a few of you have been requesting this video because you guys want to see what palettes I have but I think that is everything I have thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure you thumbs it up and let me know what other type of video you guys would like to see that is very similar to this if you guys want to see I don't know my um, highlighter collection my lip product collection let me know and I would be more than happy to get that together for you guys and film it um, I, but I think that is everything I have for this video make sure you thumbs it up I think I already said that if you're not subscribed to my channel be sure to subscribe I will have the subscribe link down below in my description and yeah I think that is everything I have for this video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye